to some rising stars. Grace Washuka, Faith Kibathi, Gadori Mutua, the ladies from Single Kiasi Season 2, now on Showmax. Let's go around, say hello. Hi guys, it's Faith Kibathi playing Rebecca. Hello everybody, this is Grace Washuka and I play Olivia. Lies! <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, I do, right here. It's kind of trippy to hear Gadoni say Olivia and then for me to want to say yes. But you say yes and I'm like, what? <laughs> I know, it's great. You called me yesterday and I was like, is she hitting on me? Like I hung up and I was like, <laughs> is she so on me? Like, I was like, Ooh, I need to call somebody about this call that I just had because <laughs> I, I was liking the feeling. <laughs> she gives such a vibe. She, she does. does. Aww. She does. Aww. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Let's go. Hi, I'm Gavoni Mutwa, and I play Sintame. Excellent. My excellent, bestie. Excellent. Be your bestie. Yeah. Bestie. So I understand that Mine couldn't be with us today. Okay. Mm. Can you tell me uh, what character she plays and how that character uh, is involved in each of your lives? Okay, so Mine um, plays the character of uh, Mariah, the slay queen, the, the girl who likes being sponsored and the good life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, she was not able to join us this morning, but she sends her regards mm -hmm. and love. Can she send her outfits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? right? I know. Hey, no. I know. Oh, oh yeah. no. Love yeah. and regards. I want nails, eyelashes, <laughs> the shoes. And Just accessories included. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> and the wig. Yeah. Don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to shave off these dreads at some point. I'm going to do the bald thing. Blast for yeah. me. Blast for me. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah. Don't. We don't need to what? cut them. No! Oh, oh, no! Like, like, what one? What one? one. Yeah. Jobless. Jobless. <laughs> jobless. <laughs> Grace, tell me yeah, how so she interacts. Uh, Mine's role interacts. Uh, um, my you. character, Olivia, and her do not get along at all. <laughs> But I do try. I do try in episode one, in episode two. I okay. try. Yeah. So her value system, my value system. No, believe, no, no. I competition. Believe. She's no, just no, like. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, no, no competition. <laughs> For Olivia, there's no competition. Thank you. Can Whoa. we just say that again today, man? <laughs> No, this is Olivia is telling and taking it to the Look bank. The same thing. <laughs> banking this running, one. running with it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those running legs, huh? Those running legs. <laughs> All right, legs. cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Sintame? Um, so Mariah is our good friend from yeah. forever. Mm. Um so what, what, what's question? How do you interact with Monet's character? Um in this not season, here. let me say in yes. this season, yes. um the friendships are a bit uh, what is it called? Not broken, mm -hmm. but uh, tested, cha tested okay. challenged, shaken. Yeah. yeah, shaken, stirred. And so it, there's a lot of will they, won't they, but not in love. More like, are they going to stay friends? What's the... Knives out. Knives out. Okay. Mm. Claws out. Yeah. Claws okay. out. Yeah, but it's like, it's not her fault yes. in a way. A lot of things are... It's honestly just bad timing, bad, even as you watch, but, you know, sometimes your actions have a certain impact and yes. we read them a certain way. Yes, mm. yeah. I understand that. Now, um, Gadoni and Faith have been on Double O Direct before, but yeah. you haven't, Grace. So just no. tell us a little bit about yourself. Mm. Okay, so once again, my name is Grace Washuka at I am W-A-C-U-K-A on Instagram and Facebook at That's I am really important. Yeah. Because I tried to look, there were like 20 million Grace Washuka. No, there weren't. <laughs> there were like three. <laughs> Olivia, <laughs> you are me and I am you. Yes, true. we are together. Let's continue. Okay, I am. I am. I am W A C U K A. I'm an actress, uh, singer, songwriter, a mus uh, a write uh, like a writer, like actual writing and a producer. Okay. Uh, grew up in Kenya till I was 18. I'm a scholarship kid, uh, raised by my mom. Dad died when I was young. Figured out at 16 that I would need to figure out my education. Really, post high school, I would need to figure it out myself because um, the financial situation was not financing. Uh, went, uh, got a scholarship, United World College in India, got another scholarship, uh, bachelor's in theater with an emphasis in acting at Smith College, Massachusetts. And I actually, I mean, I wanted to be a, an artist probably from the time I was 11 or 16, but in the public 11 system. 11 or 16. Um, yeah, 11 was Harry Potter, uh. Harry Potter and Destiny's Child. Uh -huh. And you remember everyone in music was black in the, in the 2000s, yes. late 90s, yes. everyone was black. Usher. Yeah. So I never, there weren't any like famous, like there was no Wakanda then. Mm. So I couldn't see myself on Harry Potter. Mm. I think if Hermione was black as she 
is now mm. in the West End in London, mm. I probably would have wanted to be an actor sooner. Yes, but or I was the a Little Mermaid. Yeah, now the Little. Black. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so mm. I wasn't African. I'm not African American. Actually, I wasn't. I, like I, am now. <laughs> I was. I'm. I'm not At African American. Yeah. I'm not. You know, I'm not white. So I didn't see myself there. But the the music. I loved music and performing. Uh, so acting came later when I was accidentally put in the Christmas play. How accidental was that? Um, the Who was my like, decamates. did you break? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, so I went to school at Precious Blood, Yuruta, Kaungwe. I know Precious yeah, Blood. Yeah, I'm a PB. Yeah, yeah, You're I'm a job. I wanted to go to that school. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I cried so went, much no, when no, I went. Faith, no. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> my forces. Academy my forces. Is, it's fun. Yeah, it is fun. It is yeah, fun. I didn't was know my forces was a mixed school. Yeah, a, a oh. long time ago it was mixed and then they separated. So yeah. girls in Lanet, boys in Nairobi. Lanet, oh. Nakuru, oh. Nairobi. All so they both say Moi Forces, but no, if you're a girl, no, then no they one. get to know where. Yeah. Oh, okay, because our yeah. C, former CFO went to Moi Forces. I was thinking, right. he don't look like he had any... <laughs> <laughs> experience with girls in high school. I mean, have you met anybody? I you don't look like you know women. I yeah, see. like I any woman. Any woman. Do you talk trauma. to your anybody? <laughs> he don't work here no more, son. He don't work here no more. I can talk. Uh, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't follow you on the gram or like anywhere this will be seen. Everybody follows, even the ones that are not are following wow. and we know it. Oh. Oh. Sorry, sorry, Grace, continue. Yeah, yeah. So, so my decamate came, mm. you know, eight people in a room, a small crowd. So my decamate came and she said oh washuka by the way there's a christmas play so there was the drama group and the music group yes. and you couldn't be in both mm. so i had set my eyes on the music group mm -hmm. but in sometime in november and the auditions for the music the choir whatever was sometime in march she came up to me and said oh grace Oh, I was Washuka. Sorry, I have many names. Grace Brenda Washuka and Jiroge. Anyway, so she comes to me and she says, Oh, Washuka, um, I, I signed you up in the Christmas play. Then I said, I hope you signed me up as like the tree in the corner. <laughs> and she said, No, I signed you up as the sub to the lead. Wow. And I just looked at her because I wasn't in the I wasn't in the drama group. You have to audition to enter the drama group. It was yes. extremely competitive. So I didn't even audition that year. So we'd go for the rehearsals and it was a third former doing it. That role only went to a third former and I was a bomb one. You know, I'm a, a nothing, one? a form one. A like form a, one. You're okay. just like, what are you? Yeah. I'm, a bo I'm a bomb one, you know? <laughs> so he, she would do her thing and I would just sit there and then the director would give her notes and I would just take the notes, go home and do exactly because I was told the understudy is just in case the lead can't perform, you take the job. Yes. So at some point, I don't know how it happened, but she was trying to do something and he'd just be like, ah, where's that girl? Where's that girl? Washuka, can you get on stage? Get on stage. And at that time, I was maybe 13. Yes. 13. Yeah. yeah. So I'd go and then he'd look at her so frustrated and say that, do that. And then she, she just, you know, so after a couple of weeks of rehearsal like that, Christmas play, me playing the Virgin Mary, I would go to the chapel. I'm also a very spiritual person. And okay, I wasn't like praying to her, like the way you pray to God, but I would just tell her like, please tell me what your experience was like. I want to tell your story well. And the Christmas play was written in the context of nobody believed her. Joseph wanted to dump her, her family, whatever. The community was saying she's a whore. So she was just going through a lot. And I was like, please tell me. And she was about that age, you know, Mary, like the mother of Jesus. So after a couple of weeks, the director sat us down and said, guys, have come to the decision that Grace Washuka should take the job um, and everybody hated me from then on for three years actually till the end of high school dot co dot ke we are streaming double o direct i'm olivia tiana hosting the safe space for women with a woman host music by women only women guests from 10 a.m every saturday dj cad classically trained she plays the flute the clarinet, the piano. She is a part of Ghetto Classics. She also teaches music and specializes in early learners. Giving a plug so my son can get free lessons. <laughs> you know, times are hard nice. economically. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta yeah, do. Yeah, but now the ladies, Single Kiasi Season 2. I got the phenomenal Gavoni. The amazing Grace. And the lady whose post just keeps getting more, 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 more likes. You and Zia bet. Huh? <laughs> My Insta is fire because of posts from you guys. Whoa, yes, Faith amazing. Kibati. What is that handle you use? You're from Nakuru? Yes, Nakurube. Nakurube. <laughs> Nakurube. And you are my smiles. <laughs> and Pedro, <are> my smiles. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gadani, why should we watch Single Kiasi? Oh, why shouldn't you watch Single Kiasi? Honestly, first of all, if, if all the ads that have bombarded you, <laughs> <laughs> I've not convinced you. 
the show itself is magnificent. It's well written. It's um, it's representative of women, the variety of women that Nairobi um, uh, has. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think we we represent what three, four, four women. Fear Nairobi women. <laughs> Nakwambia. <laughs> Fear. Nairobi, we all women. are very Bad feisty. Men also. <laughs> <laughs> no, men are just avoid at all costs. At least avoid. women fear. They, men yeah. avoid. They're yeah. the inciters. You see the show? Yeah. Hashtag avoid. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, yeah, kidding so, um, yeah, the, just the representation mm. of, you know, seeing ourselves ourselves as kenyan women on screen i think that's what we're trying to so do so you're doing for tv what chimamanda's americana did for literature exactly yes exactly exactly tell me faith how did yeah. season one end oh a real cliffhanger <laughs> I, i'm telling you everywhere we would go where is season two where is season two everywhere so um, oh, episode 13 <laughs> I mean, what is episode 14 where is, where is it we're like no 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 it's over <laughs> yeah so um of course, the story is based on three girls. Yes. For Mariah, um, she was pregnant, but her sponsor didn't want to keep the chick, the kid. So there was that debate. She was thinking, maybe I should get rid of the baby. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. And we get to see that what happened in episode one of season two. Yes. For Sinta May, our gorgeous lawyer, a professional, yes. mm -hmm. uh, she lost her job, unfortunately, because she stood for what she believed in. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, of she was also pregnant. I mean, yeah. it ended yeah. with her pregnant. Yeah, yeah. with her one boy stand. toy. One night stand. Uh -huh. A waiter, Brian Abaja. Yeah, a waiter? Hi, Brian. yeah, he was a waiter. <laughs> Let's a waiter, and a waiter. Yes, an intern. An intern. No, no, I'm not saying. No, no, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. You're making your money. How you need to make your money? Yeah. 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 We're sending you some waiters your way. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got personal trainers. Oh, <laughs> people who need waiters don't have but, PTs. Yes. <laughs> Good problems Hashtag to have. Facts. Adela you know, do not write this. You know, you know, you write your books. <laughs> she literally said that like an Olivia. You yeah. know, like mm. an Olivia Budo. Mm. I don't have waiters. I don't. I, I have PAs. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia Budo would say something like that. <laughs> it's, who's Olivia Budo? My character. Okay, so tell me about how you got onto Single Kiasi and and about your character. Uh, I got on because. I asked Grace, why am I here? Yeah. And she said, everyone's wondering why Sintame is friends with Mariah. That's the biggest question that we get or, you know, so your purpose is to be someone that is physically like a physical representation of that question. Like, I do not understand this friendship. She is a slay queen. You are a lawyer. How does that make sense? I understand. Um, I understand Rebecca Becker's character. She she's a hard worker. She's a loyal friend. That makes sense to me. But I'm like Mariah. Like what the hell is Mariah doing here? And then I also am the financer. I'm gonna be the co co investor in a law firm mm. that me and Sinta May start because she's been fired from her job. Are you a lawyer yourself on on the show? Yeah. Like in reality, no, no, like no, no, on the show, in yeah, single on cast, the, yeah, your in the, in the show, I'm a corporate lawyer, okay. and I did, I w really went deep okay. into the corporate law okay. world yeah. to make that whole world make sense, yes. and yeah, so definitely single kiasi. I mean, other than the fact that we're being represented, the cast is just incredible. Every day, working with Faith, working with Gadoni, working with Mine was a complete learning experience it is i mean they've not only been in the industry for such a long time so they just understand how to be how to navigate and succeed as women in the industry which is so difficult they are also phenomenal actors so you have phenomenal actors you have Thank a phenomenal you. script so you have a phenomenal director Cast. you have, you have grace you have Who's grace you know director? grace and philippe Bresson together mm -hmm. directing mm -hmm. so there you have a woman grace kahaki leading the ship yeah. you have chantal uh, uh, coordinating you have like so it's it's the it's led by women and supported by women and anything that would come up you just you just feel safe as a woman mm. so everything is is solid like if you watch it you're yes. gonna be like my, they hired a chopper for my character no i seen that you know i seen that i seen you that know? on social i saw i saw How the chopper did you see that was that your on first Kenyan. time on the chopper yes okay yes. pause on that how did you actually get cast on the show uh, me, Philippe, and Grace had worked. So, okay, so I have a Netflix project coming out February 10th. I'm acting as a lead opposite Idris Sultan. My oh, I thought you were going to say Idris Elba. I was like, <laughs> 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 In fact, in fact, let me just pause. Got you some Angie Stone. Let me compose myself. Okay. 
standardmedia.co.ke. I am Olivia Tenno hosting Double O Direct with women guests like my woman in fashion today, the phenomenal Olga. Like that's my word of the day, phenomenal. Mm. Phenomenal. 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 Yes, got an H. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, phenomenal women. <laughs> Today I am in a NATO woman outfit because you know one of Olga's fits. Details on how you can join me on Double O Direct as my woman in fashion after I continue this amazing conversation with three phenomenal mm. actors. I have Faith. I have Grace. I have Gadoni. We're talking about Single Kiasi Season 2. Mm-hmm. You were telling me about how you got on to the show because you're new to Single Kiasi. Yes, you just I'm joined in gal. season. You're a new gal. New baby gal new ba- in town. <laughs> yeah, so once again, my name is Grace Washuka, actress, musician. You can follow me on my social at I am W A C U K A. That's at I am W A C U K A. Please follow her because she has mm. fewer followers than me. And you know, at my <laughs> age, as in, <laughs> oh my Ms. God, is here. No, 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 Please, Jordi. Come, yeah. yeah actually, come. Yeah. Listen, yeah. listen to Olivia. Mm. Olivia knows what she's saying. Olivia knows mm. best. Yeah. Olivia always knows best. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that as you watch single Kiasi as well. Well. Hey, well hey. Let's not stretch. Let's not. We we'll let them decide. Didn't I tell you that Mariah was not a good friend? And then what happened to you this season? I don't know. What did what happen? happened to you? Oh, I was about to see. We'll Let's see. Go, so, so we know how to follow you on social media. <laughs> yes. Uh, how did you get on the show? Yes. So, um, Married to Work, Netflix film, February 10th. 10 p.m. Married October last work. year. Married to Work. Nice. Me uh, featuring Idris Sultan with his 8 million <laughs> followers. Set me up there. The 8 Is million. Is he the guy that played that Somali in uh, Black Hawk Down or something? No, Who no. Idris, Idris Sultan. Idris won Big Brother Africa a few years ago. Mm. And he's yeah, no big. Box if you're not Quan uh, Box, don't you know Quan Box? <laughs> yeah, he's about Big Brother. Yeah, and like <laughs> pure times. I mean, like I look at his posts and I have to like stop and read them. That's oh, why he's very good looking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's good looking. His Swahili is just. I mean, I was the Kenyan. Platinum. He was the Tanzanian. Mm. Yeah, he was no, the Tanzanian. Yeah. They flew in Megotanwa from Nigeria, who's also in Disconnect too, which is a Disconnect that's on Netflix right now. But anyway, so it was October last year. No, yes. October 2021, 10 p.m. I'm very depressed. For various reasons, most of which are just being alive on this planet. Mm. And for whatever reason, I'm on Facebook, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, and I see this post uh, looking for a physically fit 27 fit, year old. Physically fit. Physically fit. Physically fit. So, yeah, physically fit 28 year old, driven, optimistic. Yanni, you know, there are just some briefs. You're like, this is me. You're like, this is me on Facebook. Oh, you're fit. I'm growing. I'm growing. No, I'm not 28 anywhere. I'm growing. Okay. The Holy Spirit in me. I'm technically ageless, yeah. honestly. I love it. Love yeah, it. Olivia. Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. 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 Yeah. Olivia. 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 I got the job wow. and it actually said extreme working conditions because we were going <laughs> to shoot that thing in like seven days in Zanzibar, seven okay. days. Okay. And I have worked in extreme condition and they were extreme. Like I, they were really extreme, but I don't even know. I can't you say know, anything. You know, you know what I'm thinking? I've had Without women. someone calling me. One second. I've had women on the show who tell me, yeah, you know, my time working in uh, Somalia for this NGO, that NGO, working yeah. in North Hor, working in uh, Dadaab. Then a lady comes on and says she had extreme working conditions in Zanzibar. And, mm. I'm, and, and I'm wondering, where well, <laughs> let me tell you. Extreme I working conditions in Hawaii, like not, the Maldives. You like you're not in Zanzibar. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like I was there. Where was it? I feel like, no, I was there, yeah. but I wasn't. <laughs> There. You know what I mean? Like I was just I don't even know where I was, but this I was there. Oh, this is the this was made to work. So okay. we shot that um project in seven days yeah. in in in, Z- in Zanzibar mm. and then one day in Dar es Salaam. Mm. And then yeah, and Philippe and Grace. Swahili? Yes, I do, but the kind of Swahili that Yani you just Yani you just You just know Gota. It's not no, 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 no. let me say she she speaks. She speaks. She speaks. She she speaks. 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 I got an A in Kiswahili oh, and I was in the well. papers, top hundred in Nairobi, mm, A for wow. artist. Wow. Yes. A for artist and no one has ever understood why I became an artist. People, you know, because they think artists are failures. Uh-huh. So you can't get an A and become did an artist. Wish, did Faith you, is also one. Is, did you, did yeah. you wish the Tanzanian president a happy birthday in Swahili when was her birthday this week? Oh. Because that would have been important. That would have been nice. That would have been a plug. Okay, you did not. Okay, yeah. not. <laughs> no. So, yeah, so but anyway, shot, they, saw, the they saw how hard I worked, Philippe yeah. and Grace. They yeah. saw that I'm a team player, optimistic, 
Yani, I can skate on ice singing a song, crying and laughing all at the same time. Love like, they it. just saw that I could do that. Mm -hmm. So they called me into audition for single Kiasi when mm -hmm. it was happening because they were like, oh, we really, really want you. And I mean, they didn't believe, like, the, the people did not believe that I could. Let's just say people didn't believe I could do it. And they Name really had to convince Name them. Because really, there's bigger, sure. like, who am I? Who is Grace Washuka? You know, this, I'm just this, you know, of all these, these babes with their tens of thousands of followers, <laughs> tens of thousands of yeah. followers, yeah. Minez at 50, you know, like, mm. who is Grace Washuka? Mm. Who is that chick? Mm. But they were like, no, we really believe she can do it. We really believe because they were the only ones that had experienced me and that project hadn't come out. So that, that content didn't exist. And then I have a new Christmas on Amazon and Showmax. Mm. But that girl, she's like, a, it's, a movie? it's a movie that I shot in New York. But yeah. that girl, she's very naive. So they, they, they were the only ones that yeah. knew that she she is Olivia Budo. So, so they had that to... available locally on the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazon and Showmax. It's on Christmas. Showmax. Yeah, it's a Christmas movie. Feel good. Yeah, so I did that oh. and then came back to Kenya. Yeah, but That's like, like who is she? She has like, I don't know, 3,000 followers. Mm. She's not been in the Kenyan. I've been here though. I've been here for like 13 years. I did Likarion Wainaina's first film. Blah, blah, blah. Like, Eric, Eric Wainaina? Uh, yeah, Likarion yeah, yeah, Wainaina. Yeah. I was, used to act at the Phoenix when the Phoenix oh, is a thing. Phoenix. But pause. Yeah, pause. so, we so that's how I got back. You got back. They believe the new you got on the show yes how was that for you Gadoni? being in season two new character joining new drama unfolding oh season two season two makes me so happy as an actor yes. yeah as Sinta May because mm -hmm. Again, we only, only we have thirteen episodes. Other yeah. shows have like they are on episode two hundred and sixty-four. Yes, <laughs> we're like episode four. If you miss it, you miss it. Like you've missed. Yeah, people having d accidents, childbirth. I mean, yeah, yeah. There's so much that happens. Yes, that it's 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 so good to be able to flesh out the characters a bit more. Yeah, yes. to be able to see them more dimensionally than they were in you know, the first season, yeah. you know, you see them and then now you can love them for a bit more yeah. of another side, you know? So, um, I love it. What about, yeah. uh, with regards to the industry, sustainability mm. and job security faith? Mm -hmm. Uh, now you've gone on a couple of projects. This yes. is, this is your nine to five, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. This isn't the side anymore. This is the main, this is the, this main. the husband. <laughs> yeah. The boyfriend is on the side. This is the husband. <laughs> How do you feel about job security? How do you feel about uh, the finances with regards to the industry and your work in particular? Um, so definitely right now, uh, even if you ask veterans, people who have been in this industry for quite a while and for many years, so much growth has happened. Yes. Mm. Better productions, mm. better actors because there are more workshops for, mm. for actors. Um, and um, right now, there are more opportunities since now we have our own shows on Showmax and mm. other uh, live streaming uh, services. So specifically, Showmax has produced a couple of uh, sh Kenyan shows for us. We have an original Pepeta. Mm. We have uh, other adaptations, County 49 mm. and many other beautiful, beautiful shows. Yeah, mm. so. Therefore, you're able to like the way it was so bad in 2020, honestly, mm. for actors, the <laughs> industry was just the ghetto. Yes. Mm. And we have been saved. If mm. there is a time where you believed um, that uh, you are an actor mm. and you can prove it, it's now. Th it's now. It's now. It's how, now. How easy or difficult it is, and this is something we're going to talk about when we come back to transition out of local productions into regional and international productions. Mm. We're going to get some into that after some India re Ladies of Single Kiasi mm. Season 2. And we want to talk about why it was so important yeah to be part of this project also from a job security standpoint during the break i understand that grace is like um <laughs> well <laughs> you're gonna you tell my secrets and i'm not telling your secrets olivia <laughs> your secret <laughs> your age. i did not hmm? tell you my secret <laughs> i know you're like hey, hey. hey. no but seriously let's talk about the industry in general mm. let's talk about uh your how can i put it plan b Mm. right because this is great now but we've seen a lot of ups and downs covid mm. happened so we yeah. don't know what else could happen that could disrupt you know what we i currently do what you currently mm. do it yeah. may be that it's all going to be virtual now where everyone's going to have their own avatar they're going to be acting in their own sort of scripts i don't yeah. know what people are planning True. with uh, yeah you know ai so yeah chat do, <laughs> do you know my heart is racing as you're like yeah. about to ask me what i, I think you know because as actors we are 
I mean, we're the face of the billboards, mm -hmm. but for me, until you're famous, you're the bottom of the totem pole. Mm. So you just have to be careful what all the time. What does fame mean to you? Mm. Fame for me means security. Fame for me means before they fire you, they really have to think. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, oh, she has a million followers though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's our project is going to be seen by a million people, like mm -hmm. even without our marketing. Can we put up with her? So it's security, famous security. Without fame, I don't know, you're expendable. What about you, Gadoni? What does uh, fame mean to you? Uh, I know we talked a little bit about feeling more secure, especially mm -hmm. now that there are more platforms and there are more opportunities for Kenyan actors. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you? Fame. To me, that's a foreign thing because mm -hmm. there's a whole debate about being famous and being a celebrity and all mm -hmm. that. Yes. But fame is when what you do is known mm -hmm. and i feel fame comes with influence mm -hmm. you are influential so yes, whatever mm -hmm. it is that you are famous for mm -hmm. is because you've probably influenced people to do something yes. to have something mm -hmm. to yeah. go somewhere or something mm -hmm. like that yeah, yeah. then yeah. i could feel your mind racing like what am i gonna say what am i gonna, what am I gonna, gonna say i'm just agreeing a hundred percent yeah yeah i have i have literally nothing to add Oh, yeah, we're yeah. yeah, yeah, we're the influence. Okay. Yeah, I but it, it. it can be stressful. I mean, fame when 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 you're in the presence of someone famous. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when we were walking through Zanzibar with Idris Sultan. Yeah. Every few seconds, someone would stop him, mm -hmm. and he was always so positive with everyone, just like Sarah Hassan, just like so so positive. Yeah. And I remember at some point just thinking, this is so irritating. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, I can't imagine being like this. Then it just dawned on me that I was in a movie with him. Mm -hmm. Like together, we were there together. So I it, fame you to be something that i aspire to but now i'm just like damn like i mean you can't even have an argument in public mm -hmm. like you can't even get a little bit pissed off without mm -hmm. someone you mm -hmm. know like super super fame yes like yeah but i think being distinguished mm -hmm. like being famous amongst your colleagues mm -hmm. that is something i aspire to Gudani, what about uh, exportability of mm. uh, talent exportability of content mm. Because Showmax is doing fantastic things for yeah. Kenya, maybe for East Africa. Yeah. But uh, are you seeing yourself beyond our borders? Goodness, we hope to. Um, I think definitely, of course, Netflix is also here. So I'm talking about you specifically oh, as an well, actor. Oh, well, me as yes. an actor seeing. Okay, yeah. Um, Have you been actually, auditioning? I Have just you been had. Tell let me, me just hear. Tell us. I had a, a small <laughs> so conversation like, with the former CS ooh. of... Uh, ICT yes and um, he we were just having a conversation about you know what's the integration like politically for him right yes. like between you know um, Nigeria South Africa Kenya we're always trying to you know unite mm -hmm. um, so as they're having those conversations the same conversations that are happening politically in terms of like how are we going to unite Kenya can we have a currency like an African currency all that kind of stuff yes that obviously heavily impacts the way our industry works because mm -hmm. the networks will be so much easier mm -hmm. yeah if we even talk about now we don't need visas to be yeah right. thank god yeah, yes. visas. I got a visa to south africa it was so hard yeah. man so it's so, so much you know you can just yeah the doors are open Noah. Wait, let's go for trevor noah cape town september <laughs> i like the way you get it just so casually let, 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 the let's cheapest ticket i'm like thousand five hundred <laughs> shillings girl i'm happy for you to buy me a ticket <laughs> okay but you see that's the, the kind of integration that if we can have mm. that you know it makes it so much easier Taxes to were lowered on uh, importation of um, film equipment is that something that's real or is that fake news or do you know we don't, we don't know, know about I, that I wouldn't okay. know I wouldn't Philippe know. and Grace okay. would know yeah. Super Desk can you please research on that <laughs> yeah <laughs> drop yeah. something on the WhatsApp group yeah, yeah. yeah. let us yeah. know yeah so yeah that in kind of integration will mean a lot for you know we do. We need to what has this project done for your networking, not just uh, locally, but regionally? I'm sure that you've been sending out some reels. Maybe people hit you up saying they saw X, Y, Z. I'll start with you, um, Faith, mm -hmm. with regards to contacts that you've made regionally uh, across the continent and maybe even in Europe and the U.S.? Well, um, uh, I remember the last time we were here, you yeah. asked if I have done anything international. Yes. And I couldn't say much about it. But now it. you can. Oh, it's... No. Why, why? Oh, Baba. Tell yes. us. Oh. We did a, a short film called Baba, yes. and it premiered on a Toronto International Film Festival. Yes. And it's still yes. premiering. It's still premiering around wait, the wait, world. Wait, wait, wait. Why aren't you in the TDA? <laughs> um, were you invited? Like, how does that work? Yes, but you know, you can't go all, all, all of, of you, you, the whole team mm. can't go. So what, what role do you play in Baba? Uh, I am Mama. a mother. 
So you're a mom- mother to Baba. Mm. A mother oh, your to mother. Baba. Okay, so your mother to Baba. Yes. And I want to get real now because mm-hmm. um, this thing of we all can't go. I don't understand. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is it that they weren't going to finance your trip? Is it that it was difficult to get the visas in time? Like, what were the actual challenges? Because I've been to TIFF. I used to go to Ryerson, and TIFF is a fantastic networking mm. industry mm. event. Yeah, yeah. I, I sat with, like, J-Lo and Mark Anthony. Okay, yeah. like, like it's nothing. Yeah, it's like, nothing. Like, mm. they're, they're everywhere. Mm. You know, the guy from, uh, what's that thing? The Irish people who cut people, that gangster show. Uh, it's not Colin Meany. Uh, the guy with the eyes, the very nice eyes. We're gonna remember. We're gonna remember. We're gonna remember. But they, they were all there. Like mm. they're, they're at mm. restaurants, it's like going to a local Java or mm. art cafe, whatever. They're, they're there. Mm. So why are you not at TIFF? <laughs> well, marketing for, yourself. First of all, this like budget because mm. going all the way with flights, mm. uh, it's expensive. Uh, staying to get there, out. yeah. And uh, sometimes, yes, you can approach um, KFCB mm. uh, or. Um, the film commission and uh, they can only probably support you at a certain percentage. Mm-hmm. Did you think? It, you do you think of it? Did you th- actually think of it as a pot- potential opportunity? Or you're like, ah, that's yes. Time? I I oh. actually asked. Yeah. I yeah. called. I was like, mm. hi, is it possible for mm. me to go? Mm. And they we were like, would start a we fund me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Let like, me be, be, be honest. To get you there. Yeah. To get you there. Yeah. 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 If you ask you me, didn't ask me. If you asked me, actors, I don't even actors, lie. Actors, I would. Actors, please. If I you would. have a project, if you have an opportunity, we come right? to you. We ask you. <laughs> come to me. We start a we fund me. Sing we get you there. Because Tiff is phenomenal. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. You meet all the directors, you meet all the casting directors. You meet the people who are making the decisions as to who does what, where. You meet representation. Agents, yeah. you know, uh, it's it's a it's a bit hectic, yeah. But because it's Toronto, and Toronto is like the only city, well, apart from Vancouver, where like all the celebs congregate. Mm. It's 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 a microcosm. It's like a mini Hollywood yeah, journey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Next it time, you hit us up. Yes, guys. Yeah. 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 Let's, let's go on. Let's go on to you, Grace. Um, okay. As my heart races yes. to the questions about the industry and where it's going mm. and networks, which one, which answer would you prefer? <laughs> Which answer was the truth? Thing. Okay, so okay, so so here's the truth. Yeah, I am a scholarship kid. Mm. Okay, when I you say that you got a scholarship to what to to, do what? to the US, mm. and I was so stressed about Black Lives Matter. Actually, my next song coming out is called Black and Beautiful. That's mm. about Can you white see supremacy. How you to plug wow. yourself. Mm. 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 Yeah, I'm yeah. studying. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah? Hmm. you guys were here. <laughs> I don't even know your handles. Are. <laughs> Maybe I've not said my hand right. I have yeah, 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 you. Okay, tell us slowly and then spell everything. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at gavoni.mutwa, that is G-A-T-H-O-N-I dot M-U-T-U-A. Gavani dot Mutwa. Okay, we're going to go into some wow. poetry. Say yes, because that was some late night double I'm telling you. I feel like that was a single Kiasi something right there. So was. Spice of M 94.4 and Nairobi also streaming live standardmedia.co.ke Vanessa Chibet thank you you uploaded everything exquisitely right so if you want to find out how to be my woman in fashion how to sit here how to dress me how to plug your business standardmedia.co.ke you're on the homepage all the deets is that my email? Ah, that's your email. <laughs> <laughs> is that my mobile? That might be my mobile. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah? All right. Seriously. I'm with the three amazing cast members from Single Kiasi Season 2. Grace Washuka, Faith Kibathi, Gadoni Mutsua. We got two minutes, y'all, for each of you. <laughs> Six in total. Look at that math. Hey. Right? Hey. You said that just kind of Who said? When it's on the money. contract, we know how to count. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we're trying to do change at the kiosk, mm, uh, I don't even know what you're doing. So we're going to start off with you, Grace. Yes. So once again, my name is Grace Washuka. I'm an actress, musician. I have a song that came out two months ago, Roses Are Dead, and an EP I released a few years ago. I am here because I act as the character Olivia Budo on Single Kiasi, Sinta May's uh, best friend. Um, but we'll just see how things go in this season. <laughs> uh, you can follow me on social media at I am W A C U K A. Why don't you slide into my DMs and know? Tell me how you Ooh. how you know me. Ooh. Tell me you were listening to Spice FM with Olivia Otieno, and that then I'll be able to know how you know me, and we can start our online relationship, but not that kind of relationship. So, um, a few projects coming up. Single Cassie is going on. Two episodes have dropped. We still have 
there are how many 11. more? 11 more to go. Another episode on Monday. <laughs> it's crazy. Cast is crazy. Directed by Philip Bresson, Grace Kahaki. Only on Showmax Kenya. Uh, yes, personally, I have married to work my first Netflix fi film, feature film coming out. Are you single? A romantic, um, <laughs> Kiasi. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah um, a, a romantic comedy set in Zanzibar starring the very extremely famous Idris Sultan. It comes out Feb 10. I am the lead character. Uh, yes, I am the one with the poster starring Idris Sultan and Mego Tanwa. I also have a hip hop song coming out in two weeks that celebrates black beauty, black pride, black identity, being African. Um, and I also yell at a 50-year-old white man for a good four minutes. Yeah, you know he signed He signed the NDA yesterday. Thank God. I mean, sorry, the <laughs> talent release form. We thank God. He had to sit there and listen to me be like, I made you in a song. So Black and Beautiful comes out in two weeks. Yeah. Follow me on at I am Washuka, W-A-C-U-K-A. Now, to quickly answer your question about how I feel no, about the industry. No, answer the first question I have, <laughs> oh. which is, your teeth are super white. Yeah. Do you know what? As a kid, I just used to sit down to pass time, take a toothbrush and a glass of water, dip it in water, the water and just brush my teeth just like that. And then You're just put it back. White. And then just keep brushing my teeth because yeah. I was obsessed with white teeth. Yeah. That, that's what you need to do. You need to find the time. Okay. Now so about the industry, <laughs> how much time do I have left? Minute. One minute. Okay. Um, I had an easier time in New York than Nairobi. I won't lie. I talked about this on my stories yesterday. On my stories, if you follow me, I'm very real. New York, London, whatever, those are merit-based industries. You, you're professional, you do good work, you get jobs. Mm. I got a bachelor's degree in acting, master's at Columbia acting. I was able to get jobs. Here, it's do people like you? That's the first thing. Do people, who do you know? And then the third thing, maybe are you famous? And then the fourth and the fifth, are you talented? So I have struggled. I have struggled. I have enjoyed working with Philippe Bresson, Grace Kahaki. I'm so grateful. Married to Work was an audition. A thousand people auditioned. I got the job. And then after that, they remembered my talent. They called me into audition for Single Kiasi. But like, it's been two and a half years and those are two projects. Mm -hmm. In six months in New York, I did like four, you know, and I'm on time. I work hard. But penetrating the industry is extremely difficult. Called. Yeah, Job because security. you're on time and you yeah. work hard. They're confused. Yeah. Pause one second. <laughs> yeah. You need to go to Gadoni. And you your need two a day minutes. job. Yeah. My two minute wrap. Yeah. Um, Tell us. Uh, what I can say about this season and about acting in general and about my life is just there's a lot happening. And your Instagram. Um, profile. Yeah. Follow me, Gadoni. Uh, Mutua. G A T H O N I. Dot M U T U A. Um, yeah, so I'm teaching and we're doing single kiasi and, you know, I coach acting. So if you need to know anything about the acting process, follow me. Um, we have lots of discussions about acting and stuff like that. So come and do that. And, um, the only other thing I'd say is just continue to be yourself and teach yourself how to be yourself. Um, that's the best way you can be an actor, I think. So. Thank yeah. you. Gudani. Last time when you Thank were you. on Faith Kibathi, a comment yes. you made mm -hmm. has gotten so many views and so many likes about yes. not having to succumb to the casting couch, not having yes. to sell yourself physically in order to get roles, to get <laughs> gigs. Never. Yes. So what are your two minutes of um, parting words? My two minutes of parting words, well, as Kibathi Faith on all social media <laughs> platforms. Mm -hmm. Yes! <laughs> uh, the girl who plays Rebecca, mm -hmm. the woman who gets uh, panties thrown at her face by her baby daddy. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to say... Are they your panties? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they were Rebecca's yeah, panties. 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 Okay, that scene. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. At, least, at least we know the origin of the panties. Okay. Yes! Right. <laughs> uh, I, I, I would like to say that, yes, I still stand by those words and yeah people should go and chase their dreams no matter what comes your way no matter the barrier just use the right channels of course and um, yeah I, who, who is your acting mentor who, who gives you the support and the encouragement and the opening of doors you know with regards to opportunities I say don't God. Have. Say God now. <laughs> now we go. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. it's God for giving me the talent and skill. Yeah, yeah. We thank Him. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't have like a specific mentor, but mm -hmm. I am 
lucky i call myself lucky to have met amazing people that i've worked with mm. yeah. who now we we i started the journey with and we keep going including casting directors mm. shout out to Gerald and Lorella i was actually speaking to them today morning we love them. yeah and Akina Isaya and of course amazing producers and bosses yeah. um Grace and Phil yes. and and all and the Showmax. other and yeah. Showmax, Showmax of course for yeah. giving such platforms but um it's it's a community you create for yourself if mm. you can't find that one mentor it's a community you create for yourself you you tell yourself i want to work with these guys because i can see the direction they're going and they're doing things the right way i love that a question for all three of you ladies mm. something that really irked me uh, a week or so ago okay uh character 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 da 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 age da 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 light skinned <laughs> i have a problem okay Grace. i have a big problem it mm -hmm. says light skinned so for me i'm wondering why if you're talented if you have the height if you have the personality why do you have to be light skinned because this is a kenyan production made in kenya for kenyans by kenyans you know so the dude it's never a man who's light skinned the man that talk about ethnicity yeah. maybe uh uh coasterian maybe they'll talk about the person needs to be caucasian mm -hmm. but they'll never say this man needs to be light skinned so I don't understand why are women cast as you need to be light skinned. What does your skin tone have to do it's with the specific character considering in Kenya you can be a light skinned Kikuyu or Luo or Kamba or or Kalenjin or dark skinned. What is the ethos behind that? Yeah, so basically what you've said is that it's not representative of who we are and that's just what it is. It's supposed to to say we want this specific specific type and no one else it's it's, it's making people want to go to bleach their skin and i had exactly. dr joyce um from linton's beauty world mm. talk about how it's so important to maintain your natural skin tone yeah. you know i am 42 years old i do mm. not touch those products mm. because you will just look old mm -hmm. you know really really fast it's mm -hmm. so damaging mm. yeah. but to have an industry that sort of like promotes the fact that that's what they're looking for mm -hmm. that's their standard i feel is very damaging now looking at you know this this dynamic i'm going to focus on you gadoni have you ever felt marginalized as an actress because you're not yellow hey i almost said yes in between the question yeah. uh, let, let me know yes yes <laughs> um, leave it there we have dj cat yeah. no you guys have to come back yeah we'll have there's to so come much back. we need there's to so unpack much. yeah there's and you know and you know my song i have I to pause you oh, okay, i'm okay, sorry okay. dj cat okay. needs to come in this yeah. is celine yeah. akumu disc jockey she's a classically trained musician she's part of ghetto classics she plays the clarinet she plays the flute she plays the piano she mm. gives instructions to young children she's actually a specialist in that so if you have any children who are you know looking to get into music study music learn music dj cad clarinetist what is it clara yeah. what clarinetist. Clarinetist. clarinetist yeah it's clarinetist i was right <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. she's coming up up for some sunshine anderson something i want to give you have yourselves a lovely thank weekend. you thank, thank you, you.